Hello, it's Ugg here. Welcome back to more Hammerting. If you are enjoying the content, please like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, do all that good stuff. Really good day today. I hit 60 subscribers. I would play some sort of sound effects, but that level of production value is not, is beyond me. So yay! Thank you everybody who has subscribed. You are awesome. Right. Having a bit of think about what's going on. Yesterday's frantic. Yesterday, I say yesterday. Yesterday was Friday for me, so it wasn't yesterday. It was some other day. Don't, it's confusing. Don't worry. I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, I went a bit crazy and got more dwarves into the thing. But someone suggested to me in the comments that we should build some sort of like large production system for making lots of pillars continuously. And I was thinking, oh, well, that's a freaking good idea because I want more dwarves. You see, we're up 41. Um, and I, I want more. They, they also said that like we should make these houses more accessible to the dwarves. That's a good idea. I'm not sure where to put them, so maybe a more centralised location. Because in fact, we stretch all the way across the map. Maybe like here is a good place, and maybe here, and, and just like spread them out a bit more. Maybe here, housing here. I don't know. In the middle, so they only have to go to the middle to get it to the gold instead of all the way up to the top of there down the bottom so i might well do that housing changes so offline i just had a quick squeeze around my map and i was um looking for a good place to put quarries now if we look at the size of the quarry the quarry the proper quarries big ones so i'm thinking right we've got all this storage space here i knock down these two storage units because they're empty anyway, trust me, I went and checked before before the, I started recording. So we put one there, and we put one there, and we put another one sort of up there, and, and maybe another one over there. So we get like four quarries in close proximity. We've got access to all this storage here, which, and I can make, one of them's already dedicated pillar storage, so I can make another one or two of them dedicated pillar storage. So that would give us like 2,400 pillars or something crazy like I'm not sure how much you fit in one of these storage things. Oh, 600, so one, well, one, two, three, four, that's, that, yeah, that's, that's 2,400. So, and then also, not too far from the exit for selling as well. It's perfectly located. I love it. It's a great plan. So we're going to make that dream a reality. We're going to make it a reality right, well, I'm not going to start just yet. I'll start in a sec. Oh, other things to say. Remember the sad, sad treasure, the tre there, 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 there. The sad, sad tragedy a couple of episodes ago where we lost Dwarf 1, Dwarf 2, and Dwarf 3. Sad, sad day where it was a terrible tragedy. Turns out they died to a bug. And that bug is fixed now. And apparently the bug was called, let me just get this, let me just see what it was called. It was called the Dwarfs Getting Stuck on an Elevator After Loading a Save Bug. So that has hopefully been now fixed by... Um, by uh, the kind work of Zerf over at um, the Hammerting Development Studio. Thank you very much, Zerf. You're a hero. Hopefully no more dwarves will die in tragic save loading related accidents. Hopefully we can go like a little while without any uh, accidents. So let's crack on with this. Let me yammer on. Let me delete this. Um, so let's, let's carry on. You want to hear me yammering on about garbage? You want to see me playing around with dwarves? That sounded wrong, didn't it? So, we'll get this deconstructed. We'll keep an eye on the greed and all that stuff. I mean, greed isn't too much of a problem now. They've made me doubt of it. I don't know. It's strange. But they're, they're gone now, so let's slam in those quarries. Hopefully, we've got enough... Um, enough uh what's it called what do you call it i don't know uh, yeah you're the one that said it use the words why does that seem more evil it's like an evil quarry um do we have enough mortar to make it we should have enough more i've been stowing more forever put a little bridge in there oh they can't even build that yet oh, they can't build it yet okay right so let's build another quarry And the final quarry. Can he squeeze it in? Squeeze you in, quarry. There we go. Uh, we need to put a little bit of bridging in to deal with uh, the lack of any. No, not you. 
and get rid of that. I need to put get skip that. Yeah, so anyway, as I was gonna say, I was gonna talk about like weirdness of like oh no, what have I done? Oh dear. The weirdness of not paying any attention to what you're doing. Now the weirdness of like my YouTube video schedule, it's really strange. Um because I don't upload on Sundays, but I suddenly realise I don't know what that means anymore. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Because like I'm likely going to be making some videos on Sunday, just because, like, you know, that's Monday's content because I film a day behind. So when is my actual day off? I don't know. I'm going to have to reconsider this. I'm also, have to get this freaking Zugs. Zug to start making some content. Lazy Zug. His computer's broken, though. There's a little bit of update in Zug's life. His computer's broken, and it explodes every time it goes near Steam. So... Zug isn't like, I haven't killed him or anything. If you do want to, if you do want to hear Zug's dulcet tones, then you can one see him at the very start video, or, or uh, there's a, a podcast where we're chatting about um, the end of World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. Yeah, right, so these people are going to need some support beams. Oh, it's been a while since we made support beams, isn't it? Good out, I even know how to make them. Uh, they're going to need four, so we're going to need uh, eight. Uh, my twelve, my four times table. Uh, yeah, there we go, four times table. So yeah, we're we're chatting, and you can hear him if you really wanted to. It's our our world podcast thing that we did ages ago. Now about three months ago, whenever Battle for Azeroth was winding down, that's when we did it. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna put that in and I think we've done it we've done this right so we've got to set this to accept this is a pillar one that's bars but assign content we need pillars so we'll just get this in place now that is getting pillars as well good uh, you pillars maybe right we'll just set that not all quarry produce I was like, no, I don't want old quarry produce, it's ridiculous. I want pillars to be stored here. It'd be good if you could see from the, I don't know, the, um, oh God, I feel like I'm making this more difficult than it needs to be. I am. Remember this, this feature I, I talk about, like I thought was really good, I could just copy it. Yeah. That. <laughs> this is so dense. Yeah, that, that's really good. That's really handy. And uh, there we go. Beautiful. So these should be getting built, and then we construct. Then I should begin the great construction upon the the great. Um, What's, what do you may call it? The um, this thing, pillar construction industry. And I might actually get rid of this old quarry and maybe put something else in here. I don't know. So where are we going to put our dwarven houses? In the middle. There's a good middle spot. Right, that's a bit low. Here. I was saying this is a good place. We've got an elevator shaft. We've got an elevator. It's good. All right, so let's build some more houses as well. Uh, dwellings. Uh, one, two. Oh, why weren't you going there? All right. Weird. Three. I'm going to stop with that. Oh, because I'm... Three. Four. And then... Uh, and then, uh, and I know that you can put. Uh, I'll show you. I'll show you my little thing that I learned. Hold on. Thing what I learned. I learned this myself as well. 
you can get these things and place them in here. Okay, I'll learn that in a bit. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I am a, <laughs> I am a man with a great deal of experience of playing Hammer Team. It would, you wouldn't look, you wouldn't think so by looking at the way I play, but I have got quite a bit of experience, as I'm sure a great many of you are aware, having watched a ridiculous amount of my videos. You legends. Right. So this is where the nor 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 dwarves, oh dear, the new dwarves will be dwelling in their dwellings. So we just got to wait for these to be made. Why why were you not going there? That's it. That's a spirit son. So so these bits here, yeah, you can just put like. Uh, blocks in there, so they're going to knock holes in the floor when they build the ones below it. But I'll just fill them in using um, using um, small stone bridges. But we got to wait until they're built first, and so it's fine. It's going to take them a little while, uh, but they should have everything they need. Yeah, they should. Right, let's look at this being built then. What are we waiting for? Uh, supports. All right. Let's have a look at our support scenario. What's going on? They need metal sheets. What are they after? Are they after metal sheets. Okay, we'll make. What are you after? Oh, they've, they've, they've got metal sheets on the way. What's going on with you? Trapped, I see. Oh dear. Quite sure where everyone is. Oh, they're all down here doing this. Of course they are. I tell them to build this. They've got some digging to do. That's why they're. <laughs> so no, we will give this construction a low priority. Um, we we'll probably have a re dwarf rescue attempt. Dwarf rescue attempt. All right. Uh, small scaffold. That should be enough to rescue that dwarf. Yep. Clearly they're off doing something else much more important right now. I really don't need to clean that out. I mean, that is annoying that bit. Hold on. How's it going with this bit? Are you building this? Uh, oh yeah, there are plenty on the way. They're just waiting for the plate, the sheets to arrive. Maybe this guy's got the sheets. I've no idea why you're not using the, uh, the elevator. Is there some sort of elevator problem? Maybe. Very bizarre. I'll check that bit out in a bit. Just like 19 sheets on the way. That's the spirit. Yay! Oh my god, every time. It's like, why are you hanging on now? This is like, I'll save myself. Oh, 
Here they come. I don't quite sure why they're not using the elevator. I'll uh, I'll remedy that. I think the way to remedy that is to tear down this bit here. You know, don't use that anymore, fools. Damn fool dwarves! You've got an elevator. How goes the construction of the housing anyway? Um, I can't even find the damn thing now. Right? Oh, here it is. See, look, we've got gaps. I see what I did there. I accidentally clicked on the get rid of dwelling. No, I can't actually see what I'm doing. I think that's it, yeah. And then, all right, so I don't want to click on the, it's a bit hard to place them. You've got to be slightly careful. But it'd be nice if they just, you know, fix that bug. So the, uh, so they're like, they don't have these little weird gaps above the houses, but you know, whatever. Oh, this is annoying. I don't know why they're using the, uh, not using the lifts. I haven't seen one uh, a dwarf doing that for a while. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, there you go. Oh, we're not using this lift. Is this some sort of elevator platform problem? Maybe the devs have broken the lifts. <laughs> Maybe the lifts are now broken. I don't know. Ah, brilliant. Right, so the first one of these is made. So what we're going to do is we're going to have this making uh, chunks. How many chunks? Loads. And we want them to start at 100. I guess that's the problem, but I suppose if you're constantly making pillars, when you make like a hundred pillars, I suppose that's the problem that like you can't tell them to haul away from this. It's a bit of a problem. Let's look at the overworld crisis, and then we'll worry about other crises going on. Uh, swords. Okay. Right, what have we got? Damage building, overworld crisis, building low on fuel, stranded dwarf. He seems happy enough though. Yeah. He'll be unstranded shortly. <laughs> Get rid of that. So they've stopped using the elevators. They stop using the elevators. They have. Must be a bug. They never they always use the elevators before. It must be bugged. <laughs> Curse you early access game. You fix the elevators and then you broke the elevators. Why must you do that to me? <laughs> That's not going to slow things down at all. <laughs> he says, uh, 
How are we doing for swords? Hmm. Right. And then. What are sax blades made out of? Ingots. And then we want handles made out of copper. And then we want get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. And then we want swords, which we can't make here. God damn. Start getting those constructed anyway. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my goal. I might have forgotten my goal. No, we want 50 dwarves, that's what we actually want. Which is fine. Yeah, so anyway, the long short of it is I don't know what day I have off anymore. Which is good. quickly remedy the problem with the the elevators right but I'm sure my um, dwarves can deal with just being on their on their hoofs for a day yeah they'll be fine I might play some more Factorio this afternoon Click on sell these pillars now. See, so they haven't sold all the pillars. They're a bit useless like that. It says sell everything, but they don't sell everything. So maybe they do. That's wrong. That's wrong. Oh dear. Push your windows key. So, so if I start like, if I go like up to 300, so I'll go to like 300, I'll say, you know, start at 300. So if I don't have 300, make 300. If I don't have like 200, I have 200. And that should basically continuously force them to make shit. I don't know. My brain seems to be malfunctioning when it comes to pillar creation. It should, I feel like it should be simpler than I'm making it out to be. <laughs> it's just failing so hard. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know. It's good. Broken elevators. Confused Doug. At least we've got like this stuff being made though, which is nice. Yeah, did we do the overworld crisis? At least we've done the overworld crisis. Yay. Right. 
So someone was saying gold swords. Gold swords. Who who has a gold sword? And you know, I suppose stars of Mario Sapphire. I suppose so, they're not worth that much, are they? But I like making gems, I'm a dwarf. I like making gems, they're shiny. Shiny, don't you know? Have you not seen how shiny they are? Look at this, look at it. Also, it would be helpful if I could, you know. Oh, what's going on? Hopefully, you know, if I had some sort of like hoard, tre if I had some ability to make a giant hoard that I filled with gold and gems, and maybe be more impressed then if I, when I made a bunch of like high quality gems and then put them in there, and you'd be all like, oh wow, look at your stash of high quality gems, Ugg. Oh, aren't you fabulous? Oh, you've made a fabulous place. And you'd be like, I wish I could Scrooge McDuck swim in your pool of gold and. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, do that and then do that and make loads of pillars. Searching for the pillars of granite. Anyone remember the cities of gold? Or are you all too young to remember the cities of gold and I just like sound really like an old man? Oh, I remember the cities of gold. No, no one remembers the cities of gold. Do 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 do. Ah. Do 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 do. Cities of gold. It was all very strange. It was a very strange cartoon. Right. Very alien. Like lots of aliens and stuff in it. Very weird. Considering the fact it was set in like uh, 16th century. Is it 18th, 18th century? I don't know when the when the Spanish were wiping out the indigenous people of the Aztecs. I don't know. Whenever they were doing that. Good though. You can probably uh, watch it on YouTube, the whole thing. It's a little bit kiddy, but you know, hey, it was made in a long time ago. Long ago. Right. So we got like the the pillar industry is now in full swing. Which is good. Which I think it's that means it's like it's time to make another dwarf. Do 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 do. I wish there were like more lucrative trade deals available as well. And also the whole mushroom thing. I do not understand mushrooms. Well, I do understand mushrooms in in real life. You know, I, I get the mushroom. Whoa, we got loads of mushrooms. But I don't understand, more importantly, I don't understand. So we can produce the tone cat mushroom. But tone cat mushrooms aren't used in any cooking recipes that I can see. Which sounds bizarre because we get them out of the farm. So let's look. So a mushroom stew. But do we have any tone cut mushrooms? Let's just check them out. Because I know that it doesn't appear unless we actually have that in our inventory. So we won't be able to pick it unless we've got it. So let's have a... Sorry, I'll just look at that. <gasps> look at that, so shiny. Um, right, anyway. Tone cut mushrooms. So we have got 14 of them. So we, they are in our, our pile of stuff. Yeah, they just don't want to... It's apparently not a mushroom that we can be using cooking. That's very sad. So what do you do with it then? Can you use it in jelly cake? No, that's 
Queen Sol, Fraua, ¿no? Raus. Unless it's just like a raw ingredient they can eat and it's just a basic mushroom thing that gives them a little bit of energy. It's very disappointing. Let's see how many um, pillars we've got in storage. Oh yeah, the pillars are coming along nicely now. But they're even storing them in these things, which is what I wanted. So should we hire a new dwarf? Well, these dwarves are well expensive. Three! I can't even afford them. Hmm. Won't let that get us down. Ah, go brain. So if you have two of them making granite pillars, right, and you say like. That, you don't make granite pillars, but you only make granite pillars. So you don't make chunks, and you don't make chunks. And then they should constantly make stuff. Maybe a small pile of granite pillars. Just in case you run out of. I feel like I'm, I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. But you make chunks, and then when you're out of chunks, you make a small amount of pillars. So, like 40. So, are you going to store these things somewhere? Mm. You are. Ah, the granite pillar industry is good. There we go. I'm sure, like, I'm sure you're all shaking your head, going like, oh, "Why did it take you such a long time to work that out?" Because, how much money are we gonna make? Oh my god! Okay, so we basically just have a dwarven colony now making granite pillars. They haven't managed to sell many though, have they? Come on, keep going. Got like 500. How goes the housing anyway? The new housing. Yeah, almost made. So they need one block of granite, which I presume is on the wall. Oh. Is it whacking with your sword? Bang, bang, bang. Yep, you killed them. Good work. Right, we've got enough to, uh... <laughs> you sold like 300, that's really good going. Keep going, we need more. No, let's recruit the dwarf, shall we? Gonna get uh, I think we'll go for Goonie because and you're gonna be one of the very first people to move into the new 
Dwarven, lower accommodation. We're a little short on cash again, but we are up to 42 dwarves. Meaning of the universe number of dwarves. Meaning of the dwarf, dwarf, dwarniverse. Dwarf, dwarniverse? Oh, I don't want to look in the job broker, it scares me. I just go in there and everything breaks. Oh, look at this. Stuff is going on. Let's just check out the status of the doors. Make sure no dwarf has gone absolutely mental. No, it's good. We have got a dwarf with old, out of date tools, though. Out of date equipment. Um, yeah, we've got a few with out of date equipment. Oh, we can sort that out, though. But at the moment, they're just hauling and doing stuff. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about that. I know I said that. Did I say that last time? Probably. Yeah. So I wish there was a cell granite pillar button that I could put on the user interface. <laughs> cell pillars. I'm sure they're going to do something about the granite pillar construction. I would. It's like, you shouldn't be making granite pillars all the time. You should be doing other things. You should be running around, being dwarves, having fun in the sun. Uh, it's like, make that many. Right. Good, this is almost built. All right, what else are we going to build? Let's start building some copper pillars. Oh, copper. We don't want any sheets anymore. We need copper ingots. Let's just do some of those as well. Can never have a co enough copper ingots. Right. You see, I feel like I've left these people alone and they've turned my lovely oric calcium into, uh, into swords, which I suppose isn't too terrible. Right, let's uh, equip some of these uh, dwarves with some new equipment. Oh, what are you doing? I don't even know where my equipment... I've got to make new stuff. That's the problem. So, uh, to be honest, I'll, I'll tell you what. It's easier if I just get a whole new bunch of dwarves, make a whole bunch of new equipment and assign them equipment because assigning equipment to them is just an absolute nightmare. So I need to know where that equipment is, then construct it. And then like give it to people because otherwise if i can't find the damn stuff in my storage anywhere because how am i supposed to find like and people will be like you just need to do this it's like, oh, okay so i can't i don't know how to find this see it's not like i have any user interface buttons there there you go so i, I don't know where these things are somewhere in my and i'm waving my hand at the screen that you can't see somewhere in all the storage i've got there are some of those things so it's like oh, I have to make new ones how we do for our calcium Advantite. yeah I literally have to I'll literally have to um, just do it from scratch because I, I've got like heavy ore and stuff and I've got I've got this stuff I've got our calcium ingots We've got a large number of Orocas some sax blades. Clearly, I had a lot more ingots. <laughs> and now I've got a lot of sax blades. God damn you, dwarves. Right. Let's make ourselves an... Let's make ourselves an Orocalcium... Let's make ourselves a bunch of Orocalcium sax blades. Can we do that? a bunch of gladiator swords okay and then we can give them to the new people at least we can give swords to the new people all right let's uh sell some more of this as we've undoubtedly got a whole bunch of ground pillars back yeah sweet okay all right nice one yeah i'm not sure what's going on with the elevators oh. Me elevators are broken. 
I, I don't know sure I take. Would I take dead dwarves or working elevators? I might take working elevators over dead dwarves. Does that make me some kind of dwarven administrative monster? Maybe. All right. Where are these swords? All right, excellent. All right, who's got old weapons then? Oh, all these old, all these dwarves. Oh no. Oh god, I've got to work it out as well. Oh, user interface. Why do you hate me so? Watch my brain melt as I try and try and do this. Uh, so we've signed for there. What's that guy called? Bolt gun. <laughs> Where? Ashtray two still around though. Yay! Oh god, I'm getting loads of doors. I should level up as well. Right, let's level up this. Yeah, good. If I hit tab, I think it takes me to the one, the next one who's got like leveling to do. Oh no, maybe not. Oh well, I can just keep hitting tab, and then it, it's less painful than he says. Why these people build stuff? Oh, don't don't be like that game. I've got stuff to do. I'm trying to level up dwarves. No, you can't level up dwarves. You've got to worry about war. So like, oh, I don't want to worry about war. What's good for? It's not even good for making money. Normally, war should be excellent for making money. It works really well for all the arms manufacturers. They make tons of money off of it. That's why they're so fabulously wealthy. Scumbags. Um, but apparently, uh, dwarves, when they go to war, they don't get fabulously wealthy. They basically get pe paid in chicken feed, which is um, not ideal for encouraging me to participate in it. See? It's like crime, isn't it? That's why people do crime. Because whilst it's very dangerous and horrible, the one thing you do make out of crime is money. And, and that's why it's so attractive to people. Not that I condone crime. I don't condone crime. I think crime is bad. I'm getting very philosophical. I'm going to stop it now on the YouTube channel about dwarves in a mine. But you know, it does have something, something, life, <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to shut up now. Stupid. Also, you know, I think, uh, you know, what drives a man to uh, go insane, it's, it's, it's clicking on buttons over and over. That's a scary thing. And also, what drives a man insane is, is, Dwarves not using their sodding elevators that they spent about four million years making. Remember when I spent four million years making those elevators? Well, if you don't, and you should do, because I'm sure you guys are paying attention, but you remember it was painful? We were all like, oh no, we've got to make like, really long elevators. What have they got now? What do they want? They want maps, spears, and, and gladiator swords. Well, I think they can have all that. How are we doing anyway? Oh God, I should try and win that war, shouldn't I? But like I say, I'm not motivated to do it because I don't make any money. If I could win the war by like look, making pillars, I'd do it. Uh, oh, you've got to make a map. Okay, well you'll probably make a map. I think I've got like the maps into some sort of like automatically constructed parchment map. Yep, yeah, sweet. Swords, I mean, you know, they're giving my Arcassium swords away, that's fine. Oh, 
Straight guards, copper hewing spear. Um, straight guards, copper hewing spear. Uh, what do I need? I need like, okay, we'll make. What do you need to make a hewing spear? What is a hewing spear? Guardsman's spear? A spear's yellow? I don't know. What the hell? A hewing spear? I must be able to make them. Warrior sword, guardsman's spear, woodsman's axe, butcher's axe, gladiator's sword. If I, am I looking, this is my big smithy. Warrior sword, guardsman's. Well, I'm confused. Straight guardsman's copper hewing spear. Garsman. Oh, all right. Maybe it's just a guardsman's spear, and I'm being dumb. That's fine. Stop making those. Uh, and then, what do you need to make a spear? We need a spearhead and a handle. Okay. And I don't want to make them out of hard calcium, to be honest. Um, I want them to make them out of copper. And some. Is it a head? Hewing spearhead. Oh, all right, okay. All right. It's just not 100% clear what they actually talking about. It's, it's like, all right, that's weird. Fine. All right. This guy's doing. He just seems to be on some sort of crazy mission to make stuff. He's making the mushroom paste. What a hero! He's like, no one wants to help me make mushroom paste. I'm just going to make it on my own. Everyone else wants to make freaking pillars. What a good job they're doing, though. What a good job they're doing. I feel good that I could actually make quarries now, which is reassuring, because in fact I struggled for the longest time getting the bones, but I think ever since the devs put in the hole, you can dig bones out of doomed soil at a reasonable rate. Uh, what is it, like 4%? Yeah, 3.6%, which ain't bad. You know, kill 100 tiles, get three, approximately. Maybe a few more, but not. All right, so that's that mission, almost done. Yep, we've got like 10 minutes to do it. They'll get it done. Yeah, look, he's already, he's, 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 he's getting, he's getting the, he's getting the job sorted. Yeah. Right, you. Um, sword. And. Sword. So you can see, literally see my brain seizing up. It's like, Arr. in my defense, this user interface ain't exactly easy to use, and I feel like I need to defend myself. Uh, hopefully. Makes face. Hopes that. Hope face. Making a face in real life. 
Hopefully it is alright. Everything's fine here. Excellent. Yeah, maybe like the giant stack of dwarven, the block of dwarves dwellings. Bad idea. This is a better idea. Maybe he needs a giant stack of dwarven dwellings. Dwarven dwellings? A giant stack of dwarven dwellings. In the middle, obviously, when the lifts work. What's that? I think we're ready for a new dwarf. Ah, they're becoming more expensive. This is outrageous. Oh, well. Let's go assign that there dwarf to a new dwelling. Assign a dwelling to the dwarf. Do you assign the dwarf to the dwelling, or does the dwelling assign itself to the dwarf? I don't know. What am I even talking about? Right. Admittedly, this uh, dwarven, uh, this mining, isn't as frantic as it was before, which is good. All right. Guys, discarded that wood. I like the way it's just a giant pile of like lumber sitting here, and they just like leave it on the floor. It's like I really wish there was like a haul of this junk on the floor away button, like there is in I don't know lots of games. I'm sure it's coming though. I'm sure it's coming because that seems like a very sensible thing to put in. And also, have we given up on the search for the God of the Forge? <laughs> yeah, lol. <laughs> Are you just like jumping? No, you aren't stuck. <laughs> it's like, have you given up? Yeah, I have. Like a hero. Um, I suppose I'll put this in. Because I knew I'm... Oh, God! There he is! Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, and the search was on. He's like, look where he is. Little bastard. Look! Oh, look, there's a mushroom thing next to him as well. I mean, what does it mean? We should go up and see it, shouldn't we? Yeah. Does that count as discovering it? I don't know. What, is it, what can we do? Can we click on it? Does it make us like... I don't know. Oh, we won't go this way, actually. That's a stupid way to go. Stop it, Ugg. Don't go that way. Uh, we'll go uh, this way up to it. Um... I'll build a slightly proper entrance to it. There we go. So you've got to go all the way along. Oh, it's a really easy route. Simple route. Does that count as we... Oh, I'll hand that in. <laughs> I love it. I told you, when I find it, it's just going to literally be... Um, oh, all right, there it is. Oh, he looks cool, though, doesn't he? Hello, God of the Forge. Mm, hello. <laughs> right. So, let's see if we've done our cave mission yet. Have we? Yeah. Yeah, it's like, whatever. Did we even get a reward for doing that? Did we get anything? Nothing. Maybe they could, like make it a little obvious we're all like a little bit more like yeah you've achieved the cave mission well done well done have a reward here's a box that pops up to say you've achieved it and takes you to that achievement and like you sit there and you do a little dance do a little dance and you have a little drink and you celebrate <laughs> I don't know whatever oh I feel like like, like that okay so we need to set ourselves a new mission I think try and find Mithril. It might not be Mithril though. I don't know. It's been suspiciously, but suspiciously absent. That's what I think. So I reckon in the the oh, oh, olive olivine olivine the green place there might be um, Mithril. 
So now we've got more dwarves and we've got industry going. Admittedly, I'm a bit annoyed because obviously, um, obviously, all the lovely, lovely lifts and stuff I've put in, they're not working. So that kind of slow things down. Slow things down? Oh dear, oh dear. I'll speak good words. Words good. I'll use words well. <laughs> right, so we're up to 2.4 gold. That might not be enough to purchase another dwarf. Which is rubbish. Ugh. Sad, sad days. Is there anything we haven't built? No, we've built everything. I wish there was more to do with the Great Hall. I'm sure it's coming. I like to think that, like, in my mind, the dev people, what they're doing is because, like, they don't really talk about, like, a lot of the new construction. So they didn't talk about developing, like, the small stone bridge or, like, these uh, long elevators. They, they didn't mention them. So I'm hoping what they've got is they've got a bunch of people who are fixing the bugs and then they've got a bunch of people who are implementing new stuff. I don't really tell you about the new stuff. So, uh, like, people like me can surprise you with it. Or, you know, people who just read their patch notes on their website or, or read the experimental branch notes. That sort of thing. So, yeah. that's what I like to think. When I think at all. Oh, also, it's coming up to Christmas, isn't it? That's a thing. Thing that's happening. This is filmed in a uh, yeah in Christmas time, so uh, I don't know. Maybe do something Christmassy themed. I might find a new game that's sort of Christmassy themed. I might not though. <laughs> I just might just carry on playing this. But I might I might do a bit of stuff, you know, over Christmas. I, I'll, I'll probably create a bunch of videos and just queue them up over Christmas. That's my plan. But yeah. Right. Let's see if we can get another dwarf. What have we got? Um Yep. Yeah, you're on you're on board. I like the cut of your jib. Also I like your price. Right. Awesome. Okay, right. That's just that's another dwarf on board. I mean, the more dwarfs we get, the better we get. So, everything's constantly being built. Bloom, wheat, wheat, flour, flour, grain. It's good. Everyone's like this 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 foodie bit seems to be working anyway. So let's just check out the general health of everyone. Check out if there are any got any negative status effects. Nope, no negative status effects. I like it. I like it. Uh damage building, I don't care. Impossible orders. Well, whatever. Outdated equipment. Yeah, I can't I can't do much about that. I don't know why. Okay, well, we just need someone to haul fuel into you, but I, I don't, I think I need more, um, I think I need more, um, oh, what's that? There he is, well, he's in colour. Um, I think I need more um, dwarves just to haul in general. That's what I need. Because then they'll they'll actually fuel that up as one of the ancillary tasks they just do. 
I think you can feel that, although not emptied. Again, I, I don't know how to make them empty stuff so they carry on working. That's got no fuel though. Mm, I think it's just a function of the amount of people I have, or the amount of dwarves. I really think they're overloaded with tasks, and I keep piling more and more stuff onto them, and it doesn't help that the elevators aren't working. And also, it doesn't help that I don't understand how the sodding job broker works. That's what I'm hoping for, an overhaul of the job broker. But I don't know. I don't know what's their priorities. Hopefully the fixie team will look at the job broker going, this is rubbish. Okie dokie. Right. So, I think... We didn't quite get up to, oh, should we hang around? To no, we're not. No, I can't. I can't do this. I've got to do stuff. I've got to do some other stuff on, on my day. So I am going to say thank you very, very, very much for watching this. It's it's absolutely brilliant that you, you guys do. Uh, um, if you have enjoyed this and you aren't subscribed, if you, if you could subscribe, that would be amazing. It would really help me out. I'm trying to grow the channel. So... Um, uh, yeah, if you could share, do all the cool things that you do, uh, stay awesome and stay safe. And I will see you for the next episode of Hammer Team on Monday. Adios, amigos. <laughs>